Um, next up on our agenda is Internal Affairs Professional Standards Division and Commander Cottrell. Uh, good evening, Vice Chair Galloway and members of the board. Um, the monthly report for April for Internal Affairs Professional Standards was provided. Any questions? <clears throat> Member Dr. Cass. Yes, uh, thank you for your presentation, and I do have a couple questions. Uh, I was I noticed that there were there were well there are actually three cases that I have some uh, questions about, and okay. and there um, the case I uh, seventy four dash twenty and seven eighty seven dash twenty are both are kind of related in that they both had terminations. Yes, sir. And one had two terminations and one had four terminations. And when I was looking at the uh, SO or the yeah the uh, SOPs that related to these, there were some cases where it, it appeared that the you know termination wasn't part of the uh, discipline matrix for a particular offense. And so I'm just kind of curious in, in could you go through, uh, for example, seven eighty seven twenty? There's four, in, you know, four terminations uh, that range for you know in noncompliance with SOPs, from you know compliance with laws, mandatory recording, enforcing laws, submission of evidence. Was I presume that these are all related to you know these are four individual separate officers who were terminated for some you know for this one uh, event. So, uh, so actually, it's on that case. I'm actually I made notes because I had a feeling this was going to be asked. Um, on 787, it was just one officer that was terminated. Um, so it's a reporting glitch in the way we report. I guess is the best way to say it um, that he was fired or terminated for all four policy violations, which is not the case, as you point out, because it doesn't meet the chart of sanctions. Um, we, we kind of caught that last month on, it came up kind of in, a, in another case in a way um, where it's the way we're entering it into our database, IA Pro, um, it's showing that they're terminated for each. We're not, we're not individually sanctioning each policy violation appropriately like we should be in our database. Um, so we're actually working on fixing that now. Um, I think we kind of have a fix for it, but um, for example, if, if an officer was sustained for two separate um, SOPs and they received a 20-hour suspension, um, the admin staff was breaking it up in the system as 10 hours of sus suspension for both violations, so it would equal the 20 hours when that's not the case, when one was more egregious than the other. Um, so it's, it's more of a reporting error on our side, and we're trying to fix it now um, because we did catch on to that. Um, the case of 754 is the same. Um, it was just one officer that was terminated um, for a couple different violations, and it's just a reporting error that we're trying to fix. <laughs> okay, thank you. And then the, the third one is uh, 75520, which uh, involves some use of force or at least use of force uh, review and reporting. And uh, I, I'm just... Um, I, I'm just curious if you would uh, sort of elaborate on that on that case. Uh, there were no um, there were no terminations, but there were some suspensions handed out, and and it appeared to be to uh, uh, management. So I I would uh, I would like also to know whether there has you know, any of these uh, relate to uh, the latest IMR. If there's some reflection of cases which are being you know processed now, which were also pointed out in IMR 13. So um, none of these cases were uh, pointed out in IMR 13. I can tell you that. Um, okay. 755. There was an acting sergeant that was uh, disciplined. Um, he did receive a suspension. Um, and it did result from um, use of force review by supervisors um, that he did not do his chain of command review appropriately, um, timely, and some progressive discipline also figured into that case, which is why it was bumped up a little more for the suspension is he had had prior issues with um, getting reports in timely and similar instances. Thank you. I, uh, I, that's, those are good answers. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're very welcome, sir. Okay. 